So here we have a Zalman CMPS 9900 Max Blue LED Ultra Quiet CPU Cooler and we're going to do a bit of an unboxing on this today and um, so firstly I'm going to take you a quick look around the box to describe some of the main features and then we'll get into the, the goodies inside. Uh, so basically on the front of the box it says that it is ready for socket 2011 FM1 and AM3 Plus uh, it's got ultra quiet 135mm LED fan it includes super thermal grease ZM STG2 uh, powerful cooling performance and PWM fan control. So if I turn to the, this side of the box, I uh, can't really see that too well but it's got some little uh, shots of uh, the CPU cooler in action. Uh, basically it shows off a blue LED version and a red LED version and it does come in these two. Um, some heat pipes showing off the fins, the thermal grease and the fan resistor which will lower the RPM speeds which I'll show you when we get inside the box. If we turn to the back now uh, we you can't really see a thing there. It's basically just uh, describing exactly what I said on the back. Basically the um, tunnel type heat sink design with pure copper fins. Yeah, we don't really need to get into that. One thing I will mention is that it um, says it will support 180 millimeter wide cases so that's that's a one you really want to know uh, and it's all in just various languages English, French, Dutch, Spanish I'm guessing that's Russian <laughs> um, Japanese and Chinese by the looks of it um, nothing to see there really and now on this side this is a bit more of the important stuff you'll still once again not be able to read that very well but uh, this is basically talking about this new heat pipe design they feature on this cooler um, it's basically axle grooves combined with sintered metal and when combined creates 50% better like cooling performance uh, for better thermal transfer uh, it gives better capillary pumping I think that's the term uh, so that's better um, underneath we've got all the compatible CPUs uh, so this will support anything under the sun but I'll read the main ones uh, the Intel sockets 2011 1356 uh, uh, 1155 uh, 775 and it'll support any CPU um, AMD sockets FM1, AM3 Plus, AM3, AM2 and standard AM2 uh, the specification uh, I'm not going to go on that too greatly, but it does feature a pure copper black pearl nickel plating, which looks amazing. Uh, for the fan, uh, it spins at maximum load at 1700 RPM, uh, which will create 30 decibels at its max. And if you connect the resistor, which will lower the RPM down to 1500, uh, it will create 27 decibels. But at its lowest, it is 18. Uh, but, you know, it's probably not going to be around there. Um, and other than that, that's it for the, for the so box. So I took all the box contents out uh, just to save time and get you to the good stuff straight away. Um, and I've laid out the, the CPU cooler itself in its blister pack and all the accessories that are included. So uh, we're going to have a look at the accessories first and first I think we'll take a quick look at the manual. Uh, it's very simply laying out. It says compatible with the CMPS 9900 Max and the CMPS 9900A LED slash NT. It's basically other variations of this cooler. Uh, it is well laying out inside. Uh, a nice clear diagram of all the components that are included. Don't know how well you can see that. The light is terrible. Uh, the sun has gone in, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, but it's a, uh, very clear, very concise. So you should have no problems fitting this cooler to your motherboard. That's a manual. Uh, now we have a little bag of mounting screws, which in also includes a Zaman case badge. Um, 
yeah, we won't be using that, but there you go. Uh, next we have a bigger bag, which has a lot more contents in. Uh, you can't really see that very well because of the light, but never mind. I will soldier on, hopefully that doesn't render this video useless. So first we'll have the the thermal grease, the super thermal grease Zalman ZM STG2. I'll bring that in closer so you can have a quick look. Nothing too fancy, but I'm going to be giving this a go, see what sort of temperatures I get using it. So that's that. Uh, we have some sort of Allen key for fitting, which is nice that they include the tool. They never usually, well, uh, uh, most of the time they don't usually do that, but I think that's the, the way to go these days. Next we have the inline resistor, which we use to lower the RPM, RPM of the fan down to 1500 from 1700 if you choose to use that uh, now we have some sort of mounting fitting I think this is for use for AMD it's got some adhesive on it you obviously put that on the on the back plate in some way so that's that and lastly we have the Intel mounting brackets which slide under the heatsink itself uh, on the base plate which is, you loosen the screws and slap, slot these in and tighten them up so that's Intel and the same for AMD except it's a slightly different design so there you go uh, well I said finally but this is actually finally this is the back plate uh, it's a solid metal back plate very nice and sturdy uh, this has a sticker already apply to it it's like a thermal pad of some sort I already put this here because I've already had a bit play with the cooler itself uh, just to test it out so that's why that's all already there and that is for Intel it will come as just a standard sticker and then you pop the middle out peel it over the back so there you go there's the accessories let's put this bag over here can't really see that very well for the glare but uh, here we have the CPU core itself in its blister pack so we're going to pop this off and uh, get to the, the meat of the unboxing. I'll do this as quick as I can, but I just want to be fairly thorough. Uh, once you take that off, you're left with another bit of plastic shrouding around the, the heatsink fins, uh, the coolant fins, uh, which you need to pop off by these little like little knobs here so you just peel that off and out it comes so here we go so a quick run through this lovely looking thing really nice with that black pearl nickel plating on the copper just makes it look so sleek stealthy it will look great in a system with all black components black motherboard black graphics card just make, makes it look so good seems to be the trend these days to make everything black matte finish or glossy I think matte finish is coming back in it used to be glossy but really nice so there you can see the 135mm blue LED fan which will just look just subtle when it's uh, glowing uh, at full speed really nice and obviously the Max logo is, well, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's actually shaded in blue, so you obviously know it's the LED, blue LED version. Um, the heat pipes are fairly thick, not too thick. I've seen thicker ones. Uh, there's not very many of them. I think it makes it look like there's six, but it's actually, I think, three because they loop through. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it doesn't seem to matter because they've got better uh, capillary performance and you know the larger heatsink makes up for it over some other Zalman heatsinks I've had in the past so yeah that's pretty lovely and on the base uh, it's a mirror finish I'll try to catch it in the light if I can I can barely get it the sun is so gone there we go a little bit not the best circumstances but 
Never mind. Uh, so basically that gives you a good look around the CPU core itself. And the fan connection is just tucked away in the back there. Four pin that is. So uh, that's been my sort of thorough <laughs> uh, unboxing of uh, the Zalman CMPS 9900 Max Blue LED Ultra Quiet cool CPU Cooler. Um, just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.